And now, for a closer look at today's tackle, the Orgai Outdoors presents the Tackle Box. For more information about the tackle used on today's show, go to DollarValleyOutdoors.com. All right, Gary, we're here with the Tackle Box section of the show. And you brought out some of your favorite flies for stripers. Now, this fly here, what do I have right here? Uh, this is the Deceiver, uh, Lefty Craze Deceiver. It's made out of a uh, white saddle and uh, bucktail represents the gills and I tie a little uh, peacock curl over the top so that's uh, representing the herring uh, that are coming up the river. So you got a little bit of contrast going on here, light and dark and then you got a little flash in there and uh, now do you, do you use any special hook or do you just tie a regular hook on there? Uh, those I use a stainless steel hook, it's a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you, you got to figure it you got a choice of catching a 20 pound, 30 pound fish. You don't want that, that hook to straighten out. Straighten yeah. out for you. That's good. Now, is this your favorite color, though, to, for the stripers? Uh, the, the white, yeah. Uh, also, black, I'll use at nighttime. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this one here? That's the uh, Bob Klauser's. That's called the Klauser Deep Minnow, mm -hmm. is the official name for that. Mm -hmm. And that particular style there, I have the rainbow flash in the middle, and I also use a uh, silver flash uh, in, in a different uh, pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, I believe, he calls this one the silver shiner, and the one with silver, he calls the Susquehanna shiner. So, <laughs> well, that's what he started out with. That was a, the fish it, eat them, it, so it, I like it. them. Right. Now, any special weight with this that you? Uh, use on this or is it just uh, just the head that you tie uh, yeah the lead eyes the the eyes will weigh weigh it down and it also gives it the action where it, it sort of kicks when you're when you're stripping it mm -hmm. and it also you know it dips down comes back up again so the, so the lead eyes really give that some good action mm -hmm. and it lets it ride upside down so mm -hmm. your hook point is riding up, up like that so yep. it goes and like you that. can like I you can drag it right along the rocks and uh, You'll get snagged once in a while, but it's a lot less weedless. Okay, stripers, they're out there, but you got to talk about my smallmouth now. Yeah, they're All right. fun, man. Because, you know, I, I like my smallmouth. Uh, I grew up on this hunk of the river right here, so uh, I like that. Now, this fly here, this is a really neat colored fly. Talk, tell me about this one. Yeah, that's the uh, darter, the classer darter, and that is representing. Uh, the little black, I guess they're sculpins, or mm -hmm. you see in the in the smaller creeks, uh, darting underneath the rocks. Mm -hmm. So when they're in the water, they're they're very colorful. When you take them out of the water, they lose their color. Mm -hmm. So uh, I remember uh, Mr. Klauser saying that he actually studied these under the water, and, and those were the colors that were in that, the purples and the blues. Mm -hmm. So that's a real good fly for smallmouth. Okay, now here's. This is an interesting one, and tell us, I mean, what it's made out of too, because I think that's pretty, pretty cool thing. Uh, that's the Klauser Sus Spender, and that is made with a lot of silver flash in there, uh, marabou tail, and a uh, it's like a bullet head with the uh, sheep's wool. So that sort of flutters in the water real slowly, makes it look like a maybe a wounded bait fish or a dying bait fish, and they'll come up and grab that. And this is a pretty. I, you got these are very narrow baits, but this is more of a bulk bait mm -hmm. too, because when that when that fills up, it's still going to be a, a good yeah, good sort of, profile. It breathes, mm -hmm. it undulates under the water. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are trying. We want our we want a wide profile, but we want our flies to be thin, mm -hmm. so they they like, flow through the air right. easy when we cast them. Right. That's right, stripers. We got some smallies. Smaller than that, we got these. What are these? Uh, they're my shad flies that I tie for shad. Uh, so just a little uh, silver body and uh, a chartreuse head on it. Mm -hmm. I also use the uh, fluorescent orange uh, head. Anything bright for the shad uh, usually gets them to hit pretty now, good. Now, do you fish them any differently than, say, a, a regular uh, fly or? Because of the shad, do you get them down deeper, or do you keep them up, or what's the story with yeah, that? Yeah, usually with shad, we're using sinking lines because uh, they're known to run up the, the, the bottoms of the rivers mm -hmm. through the channels where it's easier for them to get up. So I'll we'll always try and uh, get them closer to the bottom with some sinking lines. Okay, now, speaking of sinking lines, 
Got a wonderful rod here. Now this is a, a, a Loomis rod. Mm -hmm. And tell us about the rod. Uh, this is a Loomis uh, 10 foot 10 weight IMX two piece, which they don't make anymore. So this is a very rare rod, very powerful rod. Uh, it's a fast action rod. When you're talking about fly rods, you have uh, slow action, which basically bends all the way down to the handle. So they're mostly for your trout fishing. So when you have your very fine tippets, it, the whole rod gives, and then your tippets doesn't break. Mm -hmm. The faster action rods only flex within the very tip of the rod. So it's gonna throw your bigger flies and it's gonna cast farther also for you. And you need you need a little something with a little bit of backbone here if you're, if you're hanging on a, on a 20 pound fish, or even a 10 pound fish out in that current, uh, you need a little bit of backbone in there. Now I know you, you mentioned before, you went to the 10 foot to pick up that line and really get it out there and, and get get a good hook set on the yeah, fish. Yeah, uh, the longer the rod, the, the longer the cast you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. uh, so on the river, I don't go any shorter than a nine foot rod, and I wouldn't go any lighter than an eight weight for the stripers. Mm -hmm. And if you get a big 50 pound striper, a cow is what mm -hmm. we call it, yeah. uh, you might not get them in anyway, you, <laughs> no matter what rod you have. You mentioned the reel. Uh, talk, just tell me a little bit about the, the ability to change here. Uh, this, this reel is STH uh, brand, and I like it because it, it has a cassette spool, so they're very easy to change, and I can have different lines with me. Okay, oh, I see. So you can just pop that out, put a, a different weight line on yep. there, a size line, and do it. Yep, if, something, if something's not hitting on top, I can put a sinking line on and go to the bottom. Well, speaking of rods, one of the best ways that I learned fishing from years and years ago was just get myself a little ultralight spinning rod or medium action light. You can have a lot of fun, especially I, so with the, today when we're catching fish on the, on the that, that just thing just gives you a lot of action. Same thing here. If you want to go out and, and wade like we're doing, get a small rod like this. It's really light. It's really got, you're going to catch some, some fish but they'll feel like monsters out there, especially in that oh, fast yeah. water. And it's really easy on your arm, especially if you're taking kids with you and stuff like that. It's real simple to use. My baits are pretty simple. I keep them in a, a little box in my vest. Just some small little minnows, poppers, and that's, that's all you really need. Yeah, that's a good imitation yeah. there. Yeah. You got the red gills imitating that's looking like a herring. Yeah. And this is, this will catch stripers, you know? Oh yeah, we'll absolutely. Like. absolutely. One of the other things that we gotta mention, we're out there, we got our, our things, is that you have to wear life preserver. Now absolutely. I got my SOS on here, here that I wore today, and uh, it's really comfortable because it's warm out, but this is comfortable to use, and you should always have this with you. Uh, Waiting stick's always good, stuff like that. You gotta be safe out there. Cause absolutely. It's yep. Hey, I'm Bob Murray, and that's the Tackle Box. <laughs>